Hi students, this is Mrs. Foy, and this is a quick little pre-lab video for the Atomic Emission Spectra Lab. You guys are going to love this lab because um, it's really beautiful and colorful, and um, it's going to help you understand more about electrons. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, hopefully, you have all seen a rainbow sometime in your life. Um, and you may know that the little drops of water in the atmosphere um, can act as little prisms for the sunlight that's coming through them. And that forms the Roy G. Biv colors that we see um, in a rainbow. And that's basically what we're doing in this lab. Um, but as chemistry students, we're trying to learn about what makes those colors. And it's, it's, it's electrons. So let's take a look. So we know that when you excite electrons, when you, you, when you put um, heat or electricity or um, radiation into an atom, the electrons get excited and they jump up to a higher energy level. And when they come back down, they give off um, what we call a photon of light. And because the electrons are all different in different um, atoms and, uh, and different elements and compounds, they make a very distinctive pattern that we call uh, an emission spectrum. And we can use that to, um, to identify um, what, what type of uh, chemical substance we're looking at. So the Bohr model of the atom, you remember the Bohr model is kind of the solar system model. And it is not the most accurate atomic model and that it's not the model that we use to explain atoms best, but it does explain very well why um, electrons, when they get excited, make these uh, different light patterns. And so the Bohr model here is showing us that electrons are in certain energy levels, and that part we know is true even today. But when you get those electrons that are um, excited, when you excite them, they jump up to a higher energy level, and as they fall back down, they give off a photon or a package of light, and that package of light is um, at a certain wavelength, and it produces this light that we see. So what you're going to do in the lab today is you're going to use some really crazy light bulbs, okay? These light bulbs are long and skinny, and inside they have a very specific element in them. And we're going to put them in this light box. So all you have to do is um, uh, turn the light box box on just like a lamp and you're going to see a glow of that light. You're not going to see the rainbow colors until you separate the light and that's we're going to use something to do that. So um, today we're going to um, we're going to uh, see it best when we have it in a dark room and that's uh, why you guys are going to uh, be in the center lab. So each of these light tubes is going to show you a specific pattern of light if you can separate the light into the different, uh, into the different specific wavelengths of color. And we're going to do that with something called a diffraction gradient. Okay, so you're also going to use this in the lab and it looks just like a little uh, cardboard slide and you're going to hold it up with your eye and look at the light box when you turn the light box um, on and you're going to look at it and you will see off to the left and right kind of mirror images of specific bands of color and that diffraction gradient is acting like a prism just like the drops of water in the atmosphere when we see a rainbow it is separating the light into specific wavelengths that we see as different colors of the rainbow. So 
when you get into the lab and you get to each lab station, you're going to get your diffraction gradient and the lights will go off. You're going to turn on your little light box and you're going to hold that little cardboard diffraction gradient up against your eye. You might have to move it just a little bit up or back and then you're going to look to the left and the right of the of your um, field of vision and you will see mirror images of a color pattern. And so you can just pick one or the other. If you can see this side over here is a rainbow, uh, is a uh, mirror image of a uh, rainbow pattern that you see over here. And so that's what you're going to draw when the lights go back on. It might be helpful to use your cell phone to actually take a picture of what you see with your diffraction gradient. There's a couple of different ways you, that uh, students do it. You can either uh, put the diffraction gradient over the lens on your camera and then take a picture of it that way. Or um, uh, sometimes there's lots of different ways you can do it. But you may have to kind of play with it a little bit so that you can take a picture of it. And cell phones can be used. You can take a video as well on this if you want to. Because when the lights go back on, then you're going to draw the color pattern that you saw with your diffraction gradient. And there's colored pencils in the lab. And, um, and then you'll go to another station and do the same thing at a different light box with a different element in it. So here is the lab. Um, you should have a hard copy of this, or if you are doing this lab online, then you'll have an electronic copy. Make sure you read the directions about how to do the lab. It gives you a little bit of background information that what, I, what I'm telling you in this, in this pre-lab lecture. And then you're going to go to six different stations in the lab, and you're going to label what element is in the little skinny light bulb, and then you're going to draw the pattern that you see. So this is just such an exciting part of chemistry um, because each of these elements produce a very distinct atomic emission spectra. And you might wonder, you know, when we look at stars or we look at um, sources of light um, in the distant uh, solar system and galaxy, how do we know what elements are there? And it's because we can see this barcode of color for each distinctive um, element that's in the universe. And that's one of the ways that we can tell um, what elements are out there. So um, anyway, I hope that um, this has uh, been fun for you. I know it will be. The lab will be fun for you. And I'll see you in class.